right, we finally made it to Lisbon uh, after a six hours flight and my Airbnb apartment is not ready yet it's not gonna be ready until 2 and it's right now 11 it took me two and a half hours uh, to go through uh, passport control because apparently in Portugal uh, passport officers uh, they sleeping they don't know what means quick and expedite that doesn't exist and when I mentioned that to one of the guy who works at the airport he told me if you don't like it don't come no. like here we are right now walking in Lisbon it's uh, in the old town the weather is uh, a little bit was cold earlier but right now it's much better So we arrived to this finally long-awaited Airbnb in Lisbon that I booked. This is the living room. Don't pay attention to the mess because I was carrying all these luggages with me. And uh, then this uh, bag with the clothes that I bought for the children of Rwanda. And there's other things for children in Rwanda. So this is the view at the, the window. There is the, the TV area. So now I'm gonna take you forward to see more of this apartment. Uh, so we are approaching right now kitchen and there is a fruit, there is a water, there is a basic menu and breakfast that says fruit, tea, cereal, milk, coffee included. This is Airbnb. So there is a microwave, gas stove, sink and uh, this is the cabinets and we have washing machine and then we have a bathroom it's right here uh, very nice there's a cereal so this is the apartment in Lisbon for three days and this is gonna be the bedroom uh, that uh, pillows there will be the window which is goes towards the kitchen with the curtains and this is some decoration on the wall and uh, there is a mirror so this is the apartment that's where I'm gonna be staying in Lisbon until December 6 and then I'm catching flight from Lisbon to Brussels, Belgium. We're gonna take some view from the little balcony All right, so right now we're gonna go in the town and we're gonna have some little bit of walk of uh, Lisbon at night and see some uh, Christmas preparation decoration. And then uh, I have tonight the uh, traditional Portuguese dinner, including Fado singing show. Basically Fado is more kind of traditional Port Portuguese type of ballad where people expressing their feelings, uh, they sing about love, about their uh, daily struggles, problem facing them. So it uh, was originated uh, in the, back in the 19th century and uh, became really famous. And so we're gonna get an experience this moment. So let's go and have some fun.
village in the in the middle of a big city mm. you will see that it's like a village so you have this as uh, streets there this is where the nuns uh, made the, the concert art uh, and then you have like everything it has to do with uh, with the story of the Portuguese and Lisbon. So basically, it has this it has to do, so the Portuguese and the Spanish were very important and powerful empires. So they were always fighting. And for 60 years, we were Spanish. We belonged to the Spanish. And this was the day, we still celebrate it. We, this is the day where we got our independence back. Uh, but yeah, so let's go. Portuguese, you don't understand Portuguese, but when you hear them sing, 
you hear the feeling. Okay? You will hear the feeling. So why it's called green wine? It's in Portuguese. Um, when it's uh, when the fruit is early, it's green, right? The apples are green. The, I don't know. The grapes bananas green. are green. <laughs> the grapes are green. So we call it in Portuguese verde, which is green. The fruit is still green. So that's why it's because it's from. 